Not surprised. The number's a little crazy, but we all knew it was in the hundreds of millions of dollars, the amount that he gambled. We, we've known of this since the Ryder Cup when he actually changed companies and went to a new company. And I had heard at the time, speculation was that he did it for the money. Like he literally went into the Ryder Cup. I think it was in Michigan that year. I, I, I can't remember exactly where it was, but he went in with brand new clubs and he took a lot of heat. But the speculation was that it was to settle up with either Caesars Palace or, or one of them in Las Vegas. He made a, an average of nine bets per day and you're looking at, so that's close to, you know, a million dollars a day. If, if the numbers are true, yeah. what, the, what they're saying, uh, making uh, between 2010 and 2014, 7,000 wagers on football, basketball, and baseball. I mean, you can do that. There's no problem with betting football, mm -hmm. basketball, and baseball. But when you allegedly call up Billy Walters and you're like, hey, I'm playing in the Ryder Cup. Uh, you should probably throw some money on, on America for me. You can't do that. Like you, that, That's what Pete Rose got banned for. That's mm -hmm. why Pete Rose isn't in the Hall of Fame. Um, so I, I definitely have a problem with that. Like you can't – I like that he's betting – for his team and not against his team. I mean, I think that's also a better if you're gonna, you know, play like uh, pick sides. Hedge I your mean, bets. Hedge, hedge yourself, yeah, you can't right? hedge your bets yourself like that. Yarmir Yager was a huge gambler, a huge gambler. Loved to bet football as I did, so we did it together. Obviously, different stakes, different levels. He also loved blackjack in Vegas, where I've been a poker player and loved to play poker. So. I love to gamble. I'm never not going to gamble, but I gamble responsibly within my means that it's not going to affect my daily life. And I think we always tell people, if it's going to affect your daily life, don't do it. But does it enhance the sport that you're probably watching? Yeah. Did I ever bet on hockey while I was playing? Absolutely not. Did you armor Yager? Absolutely not. That's where you start to get in trouble. And if you look at the NFL, the suspensions that have been handed out, namely a guy like Calvin Ridley, that's where there is a serious, serious problem. If if it is true that he bet on the Ryder Cup and they can prove it, there will be there will be ramifications.